YouTube, it's Brian Phillips. FMS Flash, 850 millimeters of insane speed. 4S 2200 on a budget. You can go really fast. Check it out, guys. We've got links to the video description below. And if you want to see coupon codes, head over to brianphillipsrc.com, our domain, and you can see if there's a special. One warning, you see where that prop is? You see where your hand is? Zero. Don't do that. I am not going to th apply throttle. I'm going to have my throttle hold off. I'm going to check throttle. Everything is working. And I'm going to put in auto leveling. I have it set on this switch. See our unbox build radio setup. You can now see how we did it. And as you can see, there's auto leveling. Okay. So this way, when I launch it, I'm going to launch it that way into the wind. And I'm not even going to get into throttle. I'm going to be ready, but I'm not going to. Here we go. <clears throat> oh, yeah. We have a voltage alarm on there out of the auto leveling state. Going over your shoulder, you good? Mm -hmm. Let's just go up. <laughs> Holy crap. I forgot how crazy this thing is. I'm out of the throttle, by the way. Keep your feet still if you can. So guys, if you've never experienced the flash, this is pretty much what you get, insane speed. And if it's not insane, you're doing it wrong. Oh crap. Oh, I see you. You'll see it. So guys, I gotta tell you, this plane is something else. And it is beeping because I am forcing out so much speed out of throttle. Let that battery recover. And I just got to warn you about something. When you fly this thing, it is meant to fly fast, meaning the control surfaces are not big, or at least they don't move very far. So don't expect to jank it out like this when you're going 20. You guys listen for the echo if you can, okay? Full throttle. I got to get my Expo up. Okay, my Expo's in the top setting now. It's something I almost never do. Isn't that nuts, guys? Holy cow. You guys hear it beeping? That's just a little warning, a little reminder. So if you've never experienced the flash, guys, get it right now from the links in the video description below. It's a 100% pass there. And look at all the energy this has flown right now in our back part of our property, which is about 10. It's about 10 to 12 acres of clearing, depending on what direction we're facing. So just watch this. I'm going to do a no speed, no throttle pass right over the camera crew's shoulder. Then full throttle. Now watch the ups. Watch, watch, watch. Up she goes and she does not stop until you tell her to stop okay coming down around you ready yeah and we're gonna try for full speed here it is full speed oh cow that thing is so incredible and up do not be afraid to use the up guys because you're gonna need it downhill full throttle out of the throttle there. Oh man, look at that gorgeous sunset too. I'm gonna see if I can go past and just show the people the gorgeous sunset. It is absolutely beautiful. Flying off into the sunset. See if you can capture both. Mm -hmm. Look at this guys, look at that sunset. Oh, it looks otherworldly. If you ever get lost guys while you're flying, spin the plane slow it down and see what direction you're going by pulling back on the elevator or better yet just keep track of it oh yes going up and then we're going to come back down you good mm -hmm. okay trying to be a little bit strategic about this full speed So guys, if you are new to piloting, this plane is a handful 
and it's glorious. By the way, it's not dead calm right now. Should be calmer than it was all day, but it's still pretty windy right over our shoulders. So flying into the wind right now for you, the Flash 850 by FMS. It's a crazy and fun handful. And guys, I cannot stress this enough how amazing this plane looks coming through on the sunset. Look at the sunset, the camera crew. Mm -hmm. That is it's absolutely really amazing, guys. Oh my goodness. Up and away. We're gonna try that again. Guys, really challenging place to uh, fly because this plane, like I said, is quite, um, let's just say it's very touchy, even with stabilization, and here's why. Because it's designed to go fast. I'm about 30% throttle here, going right through the hole. Guys, absolutely gorgeous. I cannot help but want to show that sunset because it's, oh, that's our timer. Okay, guys, I am going to respect the timer here. Cam crew and I are gonna try for lining up here for landing. Cam crew, stay where you are, please. Okay. Okay, just gotta kind of get it into a position where I'm gonna be going uphill a little bit to slow it down. And there it is, guys. Stall it into the hill and ready to rock and roll, guys. That's 20 seconds past five minutes and 30, and we probably could go for just a bit longer. Now, you notice right at the beginning of that flight, our voltage telemetry via the alarm was beeping, okay? Throttle cut is on, it's been tested. Okay, let's pop this thing up, show you any damage. No damage, okay, very good. This thing does have some skids here. If you were to land and accidentally skip onto your hard runway here, 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 and here. So it actually, this is big, which is good. And then just looking inside, there's your 3.61. 3.66, 3.64, and then 14.7. So we're actually pretty good. But just to let you know, when you first start off these batteries, you may experience that too, and it's not unusual. We just try to get this, the sunset. It's so gorgeous, folks. It was looking otherworldly as it was passing through those clouds. So I, I really hope that you guys saw that. And I really hope that you guys get a flash for yourself. If you wanna get something that's economical, it's fun and it's really crazy. So if you haven't done a really crazy plane like this, I'm gonna warn you, don't cut yourself and don't shortchange this plane because it is really fun to fly. Is it an everyday flyer? Heck no, not for me. It's not the way I fly. But the thing is we have this beautiful open space here where we can fly and so we do wanna use it once in a while. And I can tell you between this and similar offerings like the V900, very fun back here. The V1200, I feel like You'd be better off just go the V900 or go this route if you want something insanely fast and super fun. V1200 has retracts that are very light duty and people have had some issues unless you have a hard surface to land on. It's just not great. And you guys can kind of feel now, I hope, the wind. If you see that wind sock there, this thing was flying around in varying wind conditions at over 100 miles an hour and barely giving me oscillation. Now, admittedly, camera crew grab that. Admittedly, I was in my bottom, which is the most expo. I usually ride here and then almost never go here because that's the touchiest. And I was here, which is my max setting. Okay, so let's just show you what that looks like in dual rates and expo. For ailerons, we drop rates to 90 and we had 20% expo. For elevator, same. And then for rudder, same. But is there even a rudder on this plane? There yes, is. there is, guys. And it's kind of nice because a lot of times on these ultra fast speedy planes, you won't always see that they include that but it is very nice. And I'm gonna tell you, flying this thing with that elevator and the nose heavy feel of this flight is very different, okay? If you push that battery anywhere else but where it is now, hand launches are gonna be scary and high speed passes are going to be nightmarish. <laughs> so don't do it. You're just gonna be going, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, doc! It's probably gonna go like that. So, very cool plane from FMS, guys. We try to watch out for the best specials in the industry on brianphillipsrc.com. Check it out. Get one for yourself while they're on discount. If they're not on discount or the coupon code has expired, all we can say is we warned you, but definitely worth a second look if you haven't already seen it. So, thanks, guys, for watching. Again, flying on Spectrum NX10. Don't need the 10 for this plane, but believe me, if you're in this plane and you're doing it successfully, 
you've got other planes too. You're gonna want the 10. It's a better value than the six, in my opinion, because you're gonna end up needing the additional channels. It comes with a bigger battery, lanyard, and just a lot of features that you're gonna want anyway. So just go for the 10. Don't chase good money after bad with the six. And then right here, AR620. Nothing special because we've got, right in here, we've got our stabilizer, which is the Reflex V2. So if you guys wanna know how to set this plane up and you're just getting it out of the box for the first time, you're watching this video saying, oh man, I'm so excited to do that. All you have to do is look no further than the playlist, which will also be on Brian Phillips RC where you found the coupon code. And this will be included in the playlist. So you can always find that on any plane we've ever done. We have playlists for every plane we've ever done. And sometimes there's only one playlist or one video on the playlist, mm -hmm. but generally speaking, we have two to three. We're gonna have at least the Unbox Build Radio set up. Then we're gonna have our main maiden flights. And then a lot of times we're gonna have multiple revisits on a given plane. And we do that because as we get a little bit more comfortable with these planes, we like to show how we have become more accustomed or how they do in different environments. Like if it's windier or drier or wetter or snowier or whatever. And that's why we do the revisits and also just to bring up these specials because when there's specials we want you to be able to take advantage of them because here on brian phillips rc just because i have five thousand planes it's not quite five thousand yet right. let's say a thousand planes we know not everybody's going to have a thousand planes so you got to pick wisely everybody's got a limited budget and we want you guys to get the best experience out of your limited funds now what we don't do is fastest best is cheapest Although this is actually one of the fastest and it is one of the cheapest. So yeah, we try not to push that direction because we think that's a bunch of BS and it just wastes your time. This thing is very fun, but it does have its limits. Where are the LEDs? Easily enough, you could add that. Don't cut your hand. That could be a major problem. And seriously, you need these things to do things with those things so that you can fly these things and other things that you might want to do. So just saying, be super careful. And we say that every time we have a hand launch plane with a pusher prop that could chop a two-e. And by the way, it will chop you too, if you're not careful. So please do be careful. And what a sweet and fun experience. And I hope you guys will take us up on the offer to visit Brian Folds RC. So you can find all of your needs there. And if you have questions or comments, leave them down below. If you want to support us, there's four different ways. You can do super thanks right here on YouTube. It's always appreciated. Then there's membership on YouTube. Much appreciated, but monthly membership does help support small businesses like ours. And then, of course, we have Patreon, which is also monthly, and PayPal if you want a one-time donation gift. And so, in saying that, we still think by far and away, the best way to support us is when you buy planes just like this, from the links in the video description below. We're commissioned from the companies that do send them out for review. But we never tell you, you should buy this if it's a bad deal. And we never say you should buy it because it's the best. That's not true. They usually aren't the best because there can only be one best, guys. And I'm not even gonna tell you what the best is because I don't know what it is. <laughs> and that being said, every time you fly, you fly for a different reason. And every time you fly, you fly in different conditions. And every time you fly, you fly in a different mood. And every time you fly, you might be flying in a different place. And so for that reason, there's really not a best. There's really not a fastest. There's really not a bluest, greenest, yellowest, whatever est. And we find that to be insulting to our intelligence. Well, and every pilot has a different skill level. That's a right. A different budget. You fly in different places than us. And I love flying low and slow, as you guys know. And what's with all the rhymes? The truth is, this plane is not going to be my everyday flyer. No. But is it worth having? Heck yes, it is. That's the truth, guys. And it's a very fun one. And if you're going to buy it, you might as well get it while it's on special. So that's all I'm going to say. I'm going to leave you with that. And in closing, very fun, flash 850 millimeters, a huge, wonderful handful of delight. Enjoy. Stay tuned, guys. So much more coming from Brian Phillips RC. Thanks for watching.